The four legendary Pokemon who aren't Coridon or Miraidon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as well as being centered on the wrongdoings of humanity, seem to involve nature and natural elements, with all of them being cladded in leaves, rocks, snow or fire. But to unlock them is going to take a lot of hard work. Don't worry though, as we're here to explain exactly how to get all four of these Pokemon. These ominous black stakes are used to unlock secret shrines all over the map, each one containing a legendary Pokemon. By finding all the ominous stakes, players can unlock each shrine and earn a chance to capture the Pokemon inside. Referred to as the ruinous Pokemon, Chien Pao the saber-toothed tiger, Wo Chien the snail, Ting Lu the reindeer and Chi Yu the little fiery goldfish are all up for grabs. So let's start with Chien Pao. Chien Pao is a dark and ice type Pokemon cladded in snow and its stakes all have a yellow glow to it. Just remember, never eat yellow snow. First, let's track down the Ice Ren Shrine. It's located here, on a high cliff on Paldea's west coast, south of the Asado Desert and north of the unmarked wind turbines on the map. All of the stakes for this shrine are in the lower left corner quadrant of Paldea. Nothing north of Cascarafa, nothing further east than Mesagoza. Also worth mentioning, we recommend having all of the ride Pokemon abilities unlocked which you get from the Path of Legend. But as these four legendary Pokemon are around level 60, Hopefully you would have had all these unlocked anyways. We've numbered these in rising order from southernmost to northernmost, though it doesn't matter which order you pull them in. However, this way you can start at the bottom and work your way up to the top. So let's start with yellow stake number one. Halfway down the waterfall east of Alfonada is a tiny ledge on the left side with the stake and nothing else stuck into it. Yellow stake number two can be found when you head to the beach on the west coast of South Province in area six. You will then see a slope rising to a large cave that turns out to be a long straight tunnel. Halfway down the tunnel is the second stake. In the same area, head to the surface, this time climb the mountain overlooking the northern pass. On its east side is yellow stake number three, stuck into a ledge. From the nearby Pokemon Center, head southeast and down the mountain. Halfway down is an outcropping with stake number four resting in it. Southeast of the turbines, near where you encounter the Bombarda Titan, is a circular pit with a pillar in the center. Stake number five is stuck into the pillar, meaning you'll need to glide, climb, or jump carefully to make it over the gap. Head to the ruins south of Asado Desert. Just south of those is an overlook with yellow stake six, not particularly hidden, next to a small tree. Yellow stake seven is in a small gap in the side of a cliff that backs into the great crater of Paldea. Just hug the exterior by walking through the grasslands and you'll find it easily enough. The final and last yellow stake for Chien Pao is behind the Cascarafa gym itself. Go behind the building and there's a small garden with a stream running through it. The stake is nestled behind one of the garden's larger trees. If you've found all the stakes and destroyed them, you'll get a bit of text telling you that you heard something from the shrine itself. Head back to it and interact with it if you're ready to challenge the legendary Pokemon within. Chien Pao is a powerhouse Pokemon that has a variety of attacks and move types to cut through your team. Fortunately, it also has a lot of weaknesses to exploit. Just be careful not to beat it altogether. It's also important to remember the move Ruination. All of these legendaries have it and it cuts the remaining HP of the enemy Pokemon in half. Admittedly, it can't be used to fully knock out Pokemon, but that won't stop Chien Pao from taking an opponent down to a quarter of their health in a couple of moves, then following it up with a normal attack. Bring plenty of Ultra Balls, hit it with Paralysis early on, and you shouldn't have too much trouble catching this crazy cat with the serious overbite. Not only that, but it can help you beat some of the ruinous legendary Pokemon to follow. Now on to the next one. Ting Lu is the legendary ruinous vessel reindeer moose thing there's Ground and Dark type. It's found in the Ground Blight Shrine north of Casaroya Lake. North of the lake itself is a large section of mountain. In the mountain's southern wall is a small ravine with the shrine clearly marked below, and even a path marked on the map leading up to it. Inside waits Ting Lu. Its Pokedex description says it brings its exceedingly heavy head down upon the ground, splitting the earth open with huge fissures. Heavy is the head that wears the... whatever this is. Ting Lu's stakes are green and in the top left corner of Paldea, largely in or around the Casa Royal Lake area. The same rules as before apply again, so let's start with green stake number one. For stake number one, head to the grasslands north of Asada Desert and there'll be a perfectly circular hole in the middle that you can drop down. You'll land in a cavern on top of a pillar. The first stake is waiting next to you. 
From the last stake, simply walk outside to the north and drop down to the grass near the waterfall to find stake number two waiting for you. For stake number three, there's a grassy outcropping in the side of Glacado Mountain. You'll either need to jump down from above or use your box legendary's climb ability. But once you reach it, the stake is waiting in clear sight. Next, go to the smallest island in Casa Royal Lake, basically a tuft with a tree on it. On its west side is the next green stake, green stake number four on a small ledge. Green stake number five requires you to surf north to the biggest island in Casa Royal, where you might have fought the false dragon titan at some point. It's the highest part, clearly in the open, on the island's east side. Head to the tip of the peninsula on the lake's west side, then climb to its highest point. Stuck in the ground next to a tree is ominous green stake number six. Hop north across a couple of islands and hug the western coastline. On a ledge overlooking the sea near the top of the rising slope, you will see stake seven right over here. It's the furthest trek to stake number eight, no matter where you're coming from. Head to the mountains and the stake itself is simply stuck into a snowy slope. Ting Lu is a brute with a lot of HP, attack and defense. Though its low speed means you'll be able to leap ahead of it in a pinch. All of its moves are attack based, except Ruination, though that hardly matters considering that has a set amount of damage. So make sure you bring in your Pokemon with the highest defense. Capture it and you'll have the Dread Moose of Paldea that wears its helmet upside down added to your team. Grass with a Shrine is found on Paldea's southern coast against the cliff wall on the stretch of land between Poco Park Lighthouse and the beachside Pokemon Center at the bottom of the South Province in Area 1. <gasps> Got that? Okay. Inside you can find the Ruinous Tablet, also known as Wo Chien, a grass dark type snail with a sturdy special defense and the day ruining move Giga Drain. To get inside you'll have to go for the purple tinted black ominous state. This time, all the stakes are in the lower right corner of the map and usually in grassland or canyons far from civilization. With a couple of exceptions, do them in any order listed for the simplest, shortest snail trail to Wo Chien. Let's start with an easy one. Scale the cliff that the shrine door is stuck into and literally overlooking it is the first purple ominous black stake. Follow the river south of Los Platos west to its source, then head up the cliffs at the very top near the little spring is purple stake number two in the ground. Purple stake number three is north of Los Platos on the cliffs on the east side of the path overlooking the zone in a slightly forested area. The next one is at the highest point in the area, at the very top of the precipice in the middle of South Province. Just keep climbing and you'll reach purple stake number four. On the south side of the first bridge linking South and East Provinces, right on the edge of the river is, you guessed it, Purple Ominous Stake number 5. Go to the dusty scrubland east of Mesagoza and at the north side is a raised plateau you'll need to climb up. Stake number 6 is up there, giving you a clear view of the Mesagoza bridge. Follow north through the scrubland and canyons towards the very edge where it meets the fields of the east province. The two biomes are divided by a ravine and on the north side of the ravine, where the land hooks outwards, is the precious penultimate protruding purple stake number 7. Perhaps the easiest ominous stake to find, just head over to the town of Artisan and the West Pokemon Center. Just south of that building, on the river overlooking the town, is stake number 8. Pull it out and head back to the grass wither shrine when you're ready to take on Wei Qian. As befits the snail, Wei Qian is something of a tank with a high special defense in particular and fairly robust HP, special attack and defense stat to boost. We recommend giving something false swipe so you don't end up knocking it out by accident. False swipe can only be obtained from Mr. Jack in the biology room after doing your first biology lesson and having obtained over 30 Pokemon. Use bug attacks carefully as they're doubly super effective. They'll do huge damage, but maybe too much. And while Wo Chien's tricky moveset might make it a little hard to catch, it's definitely worth it because then you'll get that moveset added to your team. Fire Scourge Shrine is found at the very top of the Fury Falls, just south of the North Province Pokemon Center. Find the falls, then use Coridon or Miraidon to climb up the water source, which will then take you into a cave filled with Pokemon, and the blue Fire Scourge Shrine. You must know the drill by now. 
There are eight blue tinted ominous black stakes hidden in the northeast quarter of Paldea, all of which need to be found and uprooted to unlock the blue fire scored shrine and confront Chi Yu. Unlike other regions, the mountainous landscape and uneven terrain makes a simple south to north sweep not really viable. Your best bet is to make liberal use of the flying taxi. Not to mention that without the climb and glide abilities, getting around is going to be very difficult. The first blue stake is up north, northwest of the mountain range. Just up from the beach is a small ledge with a tree and the first blue ominous stake in the ground. From there, head down to the coast. Next to a large sunken area is a tall, thin spike of rock on its west side. Climb up to get stake number two from the top. Heading east to the unclimbable wall, hug the high ridge that runs along its side until you're nearly level with the nearby Pokemon Center. Stake number three is stuck in the ground near a large tree on the edge. Keep going south along the wall, then when you reach the area marked above, jump down to a small patch of ruins hugging that southeast cliff edge. Stake number four is in the ruins. Next, head to the lighthouse northeast of Lavencia. Just northwest of that is a raised cliff overlooking it, with stake number five jutting out of the cliff. For the next blue ominous stake, head to the north of Tag Tree Thicket. Backed against the cliff is a raised plateau, with stake number six waiting for you there. On the section of brown cliff, you'll see a tiny spot of green marked on the map. A tiny patch of grass with a couple of trees. Stake number seven is here, on the descent down the mountain. Stake eight is kind of a joke as it's actually on top of the shrine itself. Leave the cave with Fire Scud Shrine at the top of Fury Falls and use Coridon or Maridon to climb down. Directly above the shrine is the final stake. Grab it and drop back in to reach the open shrine. Something smells a bit fishy here as despite looking like a fish, Chi Yu is not a water type. It's a dark fire hybrid with a moveset even more annoying than Wo Chien. Ruination does huge damage. Bounce will cause your attacks to miss like fly, and Swagger will boost your Pokemon's attack and inflict confusion in the same process. Be careful about attacking, because your attack is improved by Swagger, so even if you land a hit, you risk miscalculating damage and knocking out this little demon goldfish. Be cautious. Chi Yu is a good all-rounder. In terms of stats, its special attack and special defense and speed are especially impressive, and its broad moveset gives you a lot of options when deciding how you want to build it. And those are all the secret shrine legendary Pokemon hiding in Paldea. Phew! Be sure to come back to this video and skip to wherever you need to find exactly where every stake is. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to GamesRadar's YouTube channel. See ya!